In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of menus. Uh, up till this point, we have we created a menu bar. We added some menu items into a single menu called File. Then we created another menu called Checks that has check menu items, which work like little check boxes in a menu. We added some interactivity, and we have accelerator keys. In addition to the check menu items, there are radio menu items. So let's make a radio menu. It is a new menu of, I'll just call it radio. And let's make some of these. So radio one is a new radio menu item. We have it typed up here. Yes, a radio menu item. Radio menu item. We'll call it radio one. I do not need semicolons at the end of that line. YY, paste, paste. We're going to make three of these radio menus. We're going to put them all inside of radio menu. Items equals a list of radio 1, radio 2, radio 3. In addition to that, we're going to make a toggle group and that way only one of the radio buttons can be selected at a time. So group equals new toggle group group dot toggles equals a list of radio 1, radio 2, radio 3. Now I could just put this radio menu down here inside of our menu bar, but I actually want to show a different feature. And so I'm going to change the configuration a little bit. <clears throat> you see one of the things you can stick inside of menus is other menus. So I want to make it so instead of having the check menu and the radio menu on the menu bar, I am going to have a type menu. And we'll just say types. And it's, it's called the type menu because it has uh, one item for the check menu items and one item for the radio menu items. So type menu dot items equals a list. But the list here isn't the items, it's actually other menus. So check menu and radio menu. And then here we will make this be a type menu. Okay, now we should make this a little bit longer so that you can see more of it all at once. We save, we run, and now types has the check boxes that we had before, but it also has radio buttons. So when I click on radio 2, it gets selected. If I click on radio 1, it unselects 2, and I'm only allowed to select one at a time. Okay. So, that added our, our radio buttons. Turns out there are some actual things that you can stick inside of the GUI itself that have menus kind of associated with them. One of those is a menu button. So let's come up here, and let's add menu button. Another one is called a split menu button. Um, and then it turns out that there is also a context menu. We won't get to all of those in this video. We'll probably hit the last two uh, in the next video. But let's go ahead and let's add a menu button to our GUI here. So after we've completely set up everything with our top level menus in our menu bar, we will make a menu button. There's a new menu button. And the menu button, when it's created, uh, gets past the text that we want to have on it, just like a regular button would be. But unlike a regular button, 
it has an element in it called items, which can be set to the same types of things that we can put inside of uh, menus. So it could be more menus, it could be menu items, it could be the check menu items, it could be the radio, radio, uh, radio menu, menu items. In this case, I'm just gonna put some plain menu items in here. So a list of new menu item and we'll call this uh, button one and a new menu item button two. And now I can take and in addition to the menu bar, I can add menu button. I need to set its layout, otherwise it's gonna sit over the top of our menu bar. So menu button dot layout x equals 20 menu button dot layout y equals uh, it's probably good to space it down a fair bit so it's off of there we'll put it down 50 pixels I'll come over here we'll run this we'll see how many things I mistyped okay so our types are still there when we click on menu button I get my menu items and I can select them and it's actually a just a standard menu just like these things we could have given these things name we could have attached accelerator keys to them or made them uh, radio buttons that were in groups or whatever we wanted but you know, this is kind of just a a simple example of what it is that we can do with the menu button